Hey, hey everybody and welcome back to another weekly check-in. So we have my envelopes here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull those out of my wallet that I have from Amazon. And we are going to be weekly checking in from the 18th until the 24th being today. I am using my Erin Condren Monthly Deluxe Planner and her little sticker book here I'm a, where I have all my expense trackers and we will be using Sarah Marie's expense stickers here and then Kate Budget's no spend stickers. So we are going to have to write these out as we go through. So sorry if there is any background noise. I do have children. Let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we are going to go ahead and write down all of our expenses. And through the week, I was just writing down every day that we had a transaction. So I'm going to be looking at that to fill in. So here we have an Erin Condren compliment card with our categories. So we're just going to start filling what we need. So we need gas. Me and my husband both got gas. All right, and my husband ended up filling up both of our cars, so he just went down to the QT. For his car to fill it up was only $12. And to fill my car up, it was 26. All right, so there's the gas. We have an unbudgeted this week, y'all. And my last video, I was talking about how my husband dropped his phone and we were probably gonna have to get him a new one. He was fine with just ordering one from Amazon and it was compatible with our AT&T. So he was able to just transfer the sounds and he's fine with that. So we ended up buying a phone from there and it was 85. So we don't have to add any extra to our phone bill or anything like that. It was just on Amazon, so that worked. Next up, we do have some groceries category that we spent in. So on Tuesday, I had to go to Aldi's and I picked up a few things for sandwiches because we were out of like bread and cheese. Spent 18 there. And then today realized that we were out of quite a few things like um, the trays my husband uses to take his food to work so we don't have to worry about him leaving my Tupperware out there as well as some laundry detergent softener and things like that more toilet paper that we needed to get so we had a Sam's Club trip today of 100 how much was it it was a hundred and two all right and so there's that. Let me see. What am I missing? So we got the phone, groceries, there. All right, so I had spending. I bought a shirt from Top Shelf Nutrition. I've been working, volunteering up there on the weekends. And I bought a shirt so I can wear it up there. So top shelf shirt and it was 13 so there's that and this week we have our first unbudgeted stickers that we are going our first miscellaneous which I believe is green all right so we have our green color here for our miscellaneous so for our Sam's Trub Sam's Club trip we went over in our groceries category here so we ended up taking it from miscellaneous the 20 that we were over so we're gonna write Sam's by 20 and then I bought a tea this morning and it was eight dollars and this is from our uh, no, top shelf tea We'll put TS, top shelf. So, but the reason I took the 20 from miscellaneous was because I didn't want to pull it from savings. Um, but when I kind of close out my budget, I'll keep that in mind that this actually was food that it came out of. 
and that makes the second month that we've been over so we might have to move our budget back up we'll try 550 and see if we're able to stay within that range but because the past two months i believe we have been over in groceries so we want to make sure we stay pretty close yes yeah, so we were about over about 30 bucks last month so i want to make sure to adjust that going forward to add a little more so that means i'm going to have to up how much i add to the last week for paychecks in this month all right so let's go ahead and lay all of these stickers down so today's the 24th and we went to sam's top shelf All right, bought the shirt today. All right, next up, groceries. We had, all right, so we have Sam's Club, which was today. And then aldi's we have on tuesday and on tuesday our car insurance cleared our account so that put through which means all of our bills were paid i do have my car taxes that's due at the end of august i have the bill i just got it in this past week and i'm going to go and pay that probably one of these first few days here and go ahead and get that taken care of so it's all done and I already have all the money saved up for that. Next up is the phone that we bought on Sunday for James. So. It is unbudgeted. It came out of savings, which is fine. Next up we have gas and gas was both gotten on Saturday. And his car was only about half. So that's why it was only 12 to fill his car up. Mine was on E. It was bone dry <laughs> when we filled up. All right. So now let's pull out our stickers and see how many days we had of no spend this week. All right. So we have the 20th, the 22nd, and the 23rd. Look at that. So we have a trend going on. So Mondays, Wednesday, and then pretty much almost all the Thursdays except this one, we've had no spend. So those apparently are our days that we don't really spend any money. I usually haven't really been going anywhere either other than my sisters and letting all of our kids play in the backyard at her house and play in some water and have some fun outside. Other than that, we've been staying at home so that way we don't be out and about. All right, so now that we have all of our expenses wrote in, we are gonna go through and add up all of our categories and write them down and see where we are sitting at because we still have the 25th through the 31st. So that's almost, we have a little, a little less than a week now because today's over with. So we have a little less than a week before the end of the month hit to see what we are sitting at. So we have 18 here from Aldi's plus the 102 from Sam's Club today. So we spent 120 from our groceries. All right, so let's write in. So spent was 120 and last week we had 148 so subtract that so we should have 28 diaper blah, 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 blah. so we should have 28 dollars remaining and that should be in our diapers because in case we need like wipes or small pack of diapers before the end of the month I didn't want to pull all right so this 28 here is going to last us for the rest of the month for diapers if we need to go get a small pack of diapers from like Walmart or something because I have two little ones still in diapers 
so we all need that next up we are going to check in oh we need to do our envelopes so we have here we had 220 remaining so we spent 18 at aldi's we technically spent 122 so we were negative 20 so i took 20 from miscellaneous to zero back out our category here so that was groceries and then diapers should still have 28 remaining let's make sure so we have 25 6 7 8 so 28 there which is perfect because that will get us like a small pack from uh walmart or a convenience store around here so that will work next up we have gas that we check in for so for gas there was two we have twelve dollars and twenty six so we spent 38 of gas okay let's see how much we should have remaining for remaining 67 minus 38 so 29 and this does stay in our banking account so we don't have cash on hand i just keep it running log here just so i have it in my wallet so i know how much is in there without having to check the account all right next up is my spending and this is just mine not my husband's because his he does whatever he wants with his and i don't have to track his um last week we had 13 i want to say we spent the rest of it yep so for my personal spending which is this orange color here we spent the 13. so and last week we had 13 so that means we have nothing remaining all right as you can see there's nothing there so i don't have plans on anything but you know stuff just comes up but we still are good i'll be fine next up miscellaneous and we have two so we bought we put the 20 from into groceries so to cover the sam's club trip and i bought a tea for eight dollars so that comes to a total of 28. all right so 28 and last week we still hadn't spent any of it so we had 50 minus 28 so 22 dollars is what we have left which is fabulous because we only got a week so if something really comes up that i need to get for myself or that's random for my kids we still have a little bit of that and then unbudgeted y'all I don't think I've had unbudgeted in past two months and this is our first month having an expense for a while so we did buy my husband's phone $85 all right so we spent $85 total remaining is zero we don't have anything budgeted for this so we are actually like negative 85 out of savings is how we look at that so that is what our weekly check-in is looking like we did have quite a few um no spend days which is fabulous hopefully next week we have quite a few as well we won't need to buy anything hopefully we're gonna be eating a lot of sandwiches for lunches and i picked up in the sam's club trick i picked up another big box of the waffles so my kids will have waffles to go with eat as well as cereal for breakfasts and then i got a bunch of dump and go meals and a quite a bit of meat that i can cook up for dinner so i think we're gonna be fine i have already went through and highlighted all of the transactions just so that way i knew exactly where i was at as you can see i'm at the bottom so hopefully i don't have any more because this page starts august so i don't have that but we are going to write in the days it is the 18th to the 24th so there's that so 18 through the 24th so their last weekly check-in will probably just end up being a budget result video instead of a check-in and i'll 
have that titled so y'all can know that is the last week as well and just close out our budget in that week uh, somebody has asked about my YouTube paycheck so I have been getting a YouTube paycheck it hasn't been every month consistently because for YouTube you have to earn a hundred dollars every month for it to pay you out um, and I think it took I didn't get paid last month so it's every other month or so that I'm getting paid right now so it's not much because I'm having to go every two months or so but I do get a paycheck and I think it just went into my account I need to check and actually write the actual amounts because I want to say it's like 102 or so but I am making money from Herbalife which is where my check came from last week but I have what I use my YouTube money I don't put in our budget at all because it's so unpredictable and it's not every month or constant so it literally stays in an account by itself and I just use it to purchase like this background here um, paper um, tape um, planners stickers anything like that and I write it in here so I can keep track of our expense my expenses for my YouTube channel so that is where this is going but somebody asked about my variable and it is very variable so it's not every month yet because I don't have I only have two thousand about two thousand I'm about to hit so there might be a giveaway so y'all stay tuned for that but I just wanted to show y'all my variable spread here my handwriting looks messy don't look at it so and I will be filling in expense or the sinking fund stuff in a couple in probably wait till the end of the month as well to fill this in and give you all the ending balances just because I have been adding to the sinking funds this month and making them meet what we need so there's that but for our weekly check-in that is about all we are going to do I really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this video so I hope that y'all like and subscribe to my channel and I will catch y'all on my next one bye bye now